Well, we have a big announcement that's already been announced. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We are going to be contestants on season two of RV Unplugged. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy because we've known about this since March. Yeah. And we haven't been able to tell anybody. <laughs> not a soul. And it's been killing us to not be able to tell anybody. And, you know, there's some people who think or thought that they had it figured out and yeah. kind of told us like, hey, I think you're going to... I know they, you're going to be yeah. on it. Or they would ask us, are you going to be on it? And so if we lied to you, we apologize. We had to <laughs> lie to you. We're not allowed to say anything. That's right. So they told us back in... Well, they asked us to be on season two of RV Unplugged back in March. And yeah. uh, so initially, right out the gate, uh, when we got that email, and we, they wanted a response back really yeah. quickly. So we were like, okay, we need to figure out the pros and the cons really quickly and figure out whether we're going to do this or not. Right. Because we were asked to be on season one. Yes. Of RV Unplugged. We were unable to do it. Yeah, it because, was bad timing. Yeah. We had family um, health issues with a family member who we had to be there for. And mm -hmm. uh, so we didn't want to commit to that. And yeah. so at the time, we really didn't know anything about RV Unplugged. It was a concept at that time. And they said, like, if you don't agree to it, we can't tell you anything. anything. Yeah. So we didn't know anything about it until... It actually came out. Yeah. On. We learned with everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> but having watched that was really cool because yeah. we got to see it in a different light than anybody else really got to see mm -hmm. it because we got to see it in a light like this is the stuff that we would have been doing. What would we have done yeah. if we would have been there? So we were really bummed that we weren't able to do that. We yeah. told them to please keep us in consideration for future seasons if they were going to continue to do seasons. And so we were super excited when we got the invite. <laughs> but so... <laughs> Careful what you ask for, though, because <laughs> yeah. now we are going to be contestants on season mm -hmm. number two, but it doesn't come without some nervousness, some apprehension. Some nervousness? Yeah, Leslie's a more lot. nervous than I am, because when we had this conversation, we were talking about the pros and the cons, and, well, first, let's talk about the pros. The pros first is, what, like, new challenge? Yeah, something new, exciting for us to do. Yeah. Put a little spice in it. <laughs> Because we got to see the challenges that they did on, on season one, yeah. and uh, it looked really exciting. It looked like, you know, it's a once-in-a-lifetime once type deal. Yeah. Not very many people get to say they've been on a reality show. Yeah, and I think it's cool when you, for your, your children and your grandchildren yeah. to say, oh, my grandparents, my parents did something really cool one time. Yeah. One time. One time. <laughs> <laughs> And that is really cool because, yeah. um, well, we dis we discovered this in March that we were going to be asked. And then had our first grandbaby in July. Yeah. So it's going to be cool it for will. her in the future to go back and look and see Mimi and Pop Pop competing. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully not making asses of themselves. <laughs> yeah. Um, one of the other pros, and we got to see this when we were watching RV Unplugged Season 1, it seemed like you know the bonds that were formed the friendships yes. that were born and, and and meeting people um i'm an extrovert so i love meeting people and hearing their story especially RVers, and just learning about their travels and and kind of how they function on the road yeah. it's just interesting to me it is everybody's story is similar yet different yeah so, so it'll be fun to get to know those people it is gonna be cool it, but we don't know who they're gonna be no. yet well we do now but at the time we're filming this which is what December 6th right now yeah um, we don't know who the contestants are gonna be that that's gonna be revealed at the Tampa show yeah uh, so we're gonna find out when, when you do too then we're gonna size up the competition <laughs> <laughs> yeah we'll get on the old Google machine and figure out uh, who's gonna be the biggest yeah. competition yeah because, uh, we, some of these we might know we I don't might know we might know some, some of these, of these yeah. so we might already have a little bit of information Good. or insight and the next big pro of course <laughs> the money, man. And this year it's going to be even more than it was last year. Last yeah. year we only got ten thousand dollars. This year we're going to get twenty five thousand dollars. A lot. That's that's significant. Yeah. That's, that's a good deal of money, man. It it is, and I'm already spending it. Yeah, Leslie's already got most of it spent. <laughs> but but for good purposes. Yeah. I mean, we like to donate to veterans, so yes. there's money going to be allocated for that. But most importantly, I think because now what's changed since accepting, you know, the offer to be a part of it, and now is the grandbaby, yeah. and we've always been like we don't need a home base, we don't 
care if we have one, you know, we'll find a home base sometime in our travels. But now, with a grandbaby, we're like, yeah. it would be nice to have a home base to go to for holidays yeah, and, it really and our birthdays. And, and it's our property. We don't have to be at a campground with yeah. other people. So a good chunk of the money would go probably towards finding an RV home base. So when we win... That's right. We win. <laughs> that's what. That's our plan anyway. It is to start looking for a home base. Not that we're going to quit traveling or anything, but we want. No, a, but we a want place to, to go spot. to. Yeah. yeah. And then we talked about the cons. What? Well, maybe we shouldn't do this, or maybe we should consider some things. And the the biggest con is very obvious for Leslie, and that is they're going to make her do a bunch of shit that she don't want to do. A ton that I don't want to do. I am yeah. freaking out. Every time we even talk about talk it, about it, my heart races. Yeah. I get hot. I start shedding clothes because I'm like, guys, hot. My sugar's <laughs> dropping because I'm anticipating the worst. Yeah. So when they ask you like questions when they're hunting, like, hey, how do you feel about stuff like this? Or, you know, what's your chest size for a harness? I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> I, I can't take the. <laughs> I can't take this. What are you going to make me do? Will I do it? Will my fear paralyze me that I can't do it? I hope that you will still be able to do it. Um, because we were watching season one and there were a couple of things. Leslie's like, absolutely, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, I would not have gotten into that lake. Absolutely not. Which I don't understand. I mean, Because that paralyzed me just watching them. Yeah. I grew up in lakes and rivers in Missouri yeah. and I there didn't bother me. I grew up in Florida. As long as I know that there's... Yeah, <laughs> Terrible Florida, things in Florida the water. is different because there's way dangerous and scary Even if things. I know there's not dangerous stuff in the water, it's the unknown. I don't know where things are near me. Yeah. Something touches me. I'm either going to black out and be <laughs> unconscious or I'm going to become Jesus and I'm going to walk on water. That's it can only go two ways for me. That would be I would love to see that. <laughs> like one of those little lizards. Yes. That and they get just up on the run on water really quick. <laughs> I can only do one of the two. There's nothing else for me to do. I think you would be unconscious. I, I kind of favor the unconscious, yeah. too. So, and it's not that she wouldn't want to do this yeah. to help the team or to help us win. I just physically don't know if you're going to be able to do it. I know. Now, see, for me, I am very motivated by money. There's not much she won't do for money. And I'm very competitive. <laughs> so, one of the other things that really got us, you know, apprehensive was we don't boondock. Yeah. And at the time that we got asked to do this, we had one lead acid battery. We had <laughs> a, a smooth one night of boondocking experience ever at a Harvest Host. Yeah. And so we had that discussion, said, look, if we're going to do this, we have to do something. Well, we said we needed at least a couple of batteries and we did get that uh, for sure. I wanted to show you our setup. And this is not just for RV Unplugged. This is, this is you know, for our, our use after that too. But we did get four of the 280 amp hour Big Beard batteries. We have uh, 1120 amp hours of battery. We have two of the multi pluses. And on the roof, we have four of the 335 watt solar panels, uh, which gives us 1340 watts of solar topside. But um, we'll, we'll put this to great use even after RV Unplugged. Which we had talked earlier that year because my New Year's resolution, I wanted yeah. us to get more comfortable with doing it. Because when we traveled with friends now two summers, it would have been nice to incorporate those yeah, it would have had been. we been better equipped for it. So I said, this is the year that we need to broaden our horizons and, and get some lithium. Yeah, so it was good timing because we were already talking about that anyway. And yeah. then this opportunity comes up. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, this is going to be a good opportunity to, to push us toward that anyway. So and I was like, we just need at least a couple of batteries. We have the generator, but we don't want to run it nonstop. Yeah. And uh, the other thing that factors into that is we have Scout, our bearded dragon that yes. we travel with is a reptile, can't regulate his own heat, needs heat lamps. Yep. So being off grid is a concern because yeah. we need to keep him warm. Now, we originally thought that the filming was going to be in Texas because that's where it was mm -hmm. last year. And we just assumed it was going to be there again this year. Yeah. And Leslie's parents lived in Texas. So we yeah. figured, well, maybe we'll just drop Scout off with your parents and leave him there. Yeah. And that'll be fine. Well, then our young plug comes to us and says, hey, we're going to film in Florida. And I was like, oh, crap. Now, well, it's warmer down there. Yeah. So maybe we can take Scout with us. But if in the event that there's like a, a cold freeze. front or yeah. we're anticipating as we get closer to filming that it's going to be super cold, 
we what are we going to do we yeah. scout i mean we have family in florida but none that are equipped to take care of a reptile not to say that my parents yeah. are truly equipped <laughs> but <laughs> they have spent a lot of time with scout yeah and they enjoy his company too so i yeah. know he would be fine there but it worked out perfectly because in august leslie's parents called us and said <laughs> hey um here's a bomb to drop on you yeah. we're moving to florida Back to Florida. That's where we started. That's where we're like, sweet. <laughs> so in the event we have to leave Scout, we can leave them, we can leave him with them. Still. And yeah, not be to. an issue. But yeah. I think we're going to try to bring him. Uh, yeah, I really want to keep him with us just because I personally will have separation anxiety from him. Yeah. Even though we're going to be filming all day, every day while we're there, just knowing when I get home he's there. And yeah. I know he's okay, personally. So that was, that was our pros and cons. And we decided, okay, we're just going to do it. Yeah. And hopefully we won't. Hopefully I can push down those fears. Yeah. Real deep <laughs> and conquer it. But we know. We know they're going to throw some crazy stuff yeah. at us. But the good thing is, it's not just us. I mean, they're going to ask everybody else to do this stuff too. Yeah, they may have fears like I do. Yeah. Now, while we were watching RB Unplugged season one, mm -hmm. in my mind, I'm thinking of like, oh man, if they would have done this, that would have been cool. If they would have incorporated that. Yeah. Things like that. So I think that they were probably thinking those things too. Absolutely. They learned a lot. And so I think season two is just going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. And we have heard that they have hired out yeah. a top-notch video and editing crew. Yep. So it's going to be way more... Produced. Way more produced. <laughs> way more cinematic. Way more polished than it yeah. was in season one. So we are... We were bummed that we couldn't make it to season one, but I'm kind I'm, of excited. I'm glad now that we that couldn't. We, yeah, we couldn't, and we got to be on season yeah. two. So. Yeah, divine intervention. We are super excited for this opportunity, and I yeah. hope that... Here's my hope. I just hope we're not the first out. God, I know. <laughs> That's like the worst. In every yeah. competition, you're, everybody says, please don't let me be first. I know. I just don't want to be the first out. Yeah. You know, I want to be around to enjoy the competition for as long as possible even if we don't win i want to be involved yeah. for as long as possible i want to go through some of the challenges because when you get eliminated you don't get to do any of the cool stuff anymore i want to yeah. do as much cool stuff as i can but on the flip side of that when we were talking off camera you were like i just hope we don't do all this stuff and then not win and i did all this scary <laughs> shit I said, I, for no yeah, reason sucked at all up my fears as best i could and still lost but you still get the experience of it yes and you still get to say i did it i conquered that i was yes. still able to do there it there is so. a pro to it still yeah. so even if you don't get the money it's still gonna be fun yes yeah. that's why i keep telling myself <laughs> i have to assure myself yeah that i'll be okay so here's what we know we know that the filming is coming up soon mm-hmm we know that there's a $25,000 uh, prize, mm -hmm. and we know that at the end of this, toward the finale of this, there's going to be a rally. Yes, which the rally looked really cool last time. Yeah, so, so we don't know exactly dates and locations and um, all the details of that, but we will share that as much yeah. as possible. Now, here's what we don't know. At the moment, we're sitting right here. We don't know who the other contestants are going to be. Correct. And we don't know... Any types of games, challenges, mm -hmm. how the eliminations are going to work. Um, yeah. I don't think it's going to work the same way it worked in season one. No. It's going to be totally different. They had kind of a mix last season of like voting people out and be eliminated through challenges. And I think that they're going to get really creative yeah. on how they eliminate teams yeah. this season. Yeah, I think they learned a lot. But I can guarantee you one thing. Mm -mm. I can guarantee you this. <laughs> this guy... It's not drawing a straw to get no. eliminated. <laughs> no. That is not going down. No, that frustrated us. Oh, I was watching that. I was like, no way you're drawing straws to get eliminated. Even though everything is still to chance, yeah. I just don't want my fate based on a straw pick. No, I would, I would dig my heels in it and make them vote me out. <laughs> nope, you're going to vote me out. I am not drawing a straw. <laughs> yeah. If I'm going out, you're going to vote me out. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh darn it. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to try to do the best that we can to yeah. give you as much information as we can. We can't put out stuff before RV Unplugged does, mm -hmm. but uh, we're going to try to show you as much of this experience from our perspective as we can, how we're going through the process, how we're feeling at the time, how we're, how we're doing at the time, how we feel like we're doing during yeah. the competition. 
uh, and then kind of get a give you an idea of how how it's going for us. Yes. And hopefully we'll have a lot of good behind the scenes yeah, stuff to show later. So. I know it's going to be long filming days. It's going to be yeah. grueling competitions. I think we're going to try to get on camera as much as possible mm -hmm. and try to share as much of that experience with you as yeah. we can. It's almost as if you're coming with us. Yeah. <laughs> so leave us a comment. Wish us well. Go team wags. That's right. <laughs> need all the good vibes I can get. <laughs> I need a lot of prayer. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. I need a lot of prayer. Yeah. And uh, we did have a big, we had a big surprise that we unveiled at Tampa. That video is coming up really, really soon. Yeah. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. Stick with us throughout this whole mm -hmm. RV Unplugged process. And uh, stick around for a few more seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, Everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching. Go Team Wag! <laughs> we'll see you next time. Pray for Leslie. Bye. <laughs>